me? <laughs> Hello, welcome back to a brand new day of Hollow Week. During Hollow Week, for seven days straight, every single day, I am uploading a Halloween themed video, and today, I am really, really excited. So last week I was heavily binging on RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars. And one of my favorite looks out of the entire season was by Monet Exchange. Monet recreated that iconic look that Rihanna wore to the Met Ball where she looked like a Pope. And Monet just added like all this red eyeshadow, like glitter. She had like the, the big red contacts on. And that was probably my favorite look out of the entire season. And then and on Twitter, Axel Aurora tweeted me his looks and one of them is so incredibly iconic. And I was like, oh my God, this is my Halloween look right here. That mouth by Axel and then Monet's eyes and like, Ooh, it is like glam, but spooky and scary, but still sexy. All the S's and, and the G for glam. So if you're excited to be a bride slash demon from hell this Halloween, then keep on watching. Alright guys, uh, let's get spoopy. I do want to let you know before we get started that in this video I am teaming up with P. Louise because they recently collaborated with one of my favorite makeup artists, M -M -M Mitchell, and they created something new called the Acid Rain. We're going to dip into it later. I'm going to show you how it works. But before we start off, I do want to let you know that this video is in partnership with them. So off camera, I went ahead and blocked up my eyebrows using my Elmer's Washable School Glue. Now for the love of your eyebrows, please use a glue that is washable and you can take off easily. Don't be going in with like all these like hardcore stuff that you will never get out because you will get it out, but your eyebrows will also get out of your skin. And for anyone who's new to makeup, what that means is you put glue on your brows, a couple of layers, and you really flatten the hairs against the skin. And then once you go in with your concealer and like your color corrector, this will show you no brows whatsoever. It's like you shaved them off without shaving them off. And since Monet shaves her eyebrows off, I was not gonna do that today, so I was gonna block them out. Okay, I am noticing that I'm still waking up. It is seven in the morning here. I just woke up, like I did all this preparation, and now here we go. The first step we're doing today is primer. This is Fenty Beauty Mattifying Primer. This is a must. Oh wait, hold on. Before we do primer, we have to set the glue with powder. Now it is primer time. Next, it is time to color correct the brows before we go in with all that coverage. Because if you were just to apply foundation and concealer over this, the chance that like the darkness peeks through and it creates like a, a bluish shadow is very, very there. So I'm dipping into my Dragon Beauty Skin, wait, what? Hold on, Dragon Fire Skin Perfecting Potion. Now I am pale as hell, so I only need the tiniest bit. <laughs> she got some orange brows, honey. And we're done. That is my demon from hell, bride from hell look. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> and now it is time for the coverage, finally. Oh my God, my favorite part. For foundation today, I'm first going in with the Stay Naked by Urban Decay and mixing in a couple of drops of the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. God, Dylan really loves me for my looks, huh? And you wanna remind yourself that the less friction on the just glued down brows, the better. So as soon as you come near the brows, Make sure you use a light tapping motion so that you leave the glue in place. Same goes for the eyeshadow later on. You don't wanna be going in with a brush like it's your last day on planet Earth. Like you wanna take your time, like you wanna be gentle about it. Approach it with love and tenderness. I look like a sick jellyfish. Time for concealer. Today I'm dipping into the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. It's my first time trying this, so pray for me. And I am using the color Light Sand. I don't know what that was. 
All right, in a second, I'm about to blimp this all into my skin. And then I'm gonna set my under eyes using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Setting Powder in Vanilla and the rest of my face using this uh, Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Okay, great, now I just went from a jellyfish to an egg. If you always wanted to be an egg during Halloween, this is what you do. All right, off camera, I'm quickly gonna do my other eye to kind of see where I'm going so I know exactly how to tell you what to do and I'll be right back. All right guys, one eye is done and I am absolutely living for all of it. And then just wait until that crazy contact goes in, it just completes the look. For this eye portion, I told you I'm partnering up with P. Louise and in a previous video, I was using the Acid Rain collection. P. Louise saw and they were like, babe, you can't really use it as a base because apparently these set in 60 seconds. So you apply them, you let it rest for 60 seconds and it's set and it won't go anywhere. Whereas I was just using it as a base. So don't be doing that. Okay, we have the base for that. <laughs> they literally come in a bunch of shades. Like look at that, like a purple. We've got like a blue. This one is really, really calling my attention here. This is limelight. This is a neon green yellow. So they come in a bunch of colors and uh, these are like a drying paint. These are incredible to do cut creases, to do eyeliners, to do detailed work. I really like these after I got the hang of them and today I'm gonna show you how they work. Uh, by the way, P. Louise now available at all Morphe stores. Congratulations, Paige, that is huge. And of course, don't forget, I am also an affiliate to P. Louise, so if you wanna save money on these, all you have to do at checkout on the website is use discount code Nikki for a discount. And guess what, in the Morphe stores, you can do the exact same thing. The first product I'm gonna go in with, however, is not the Acid Rain. I'm actually going in with a colored brights base also by P. Louise. This is in the color Rude Boy Red, and we're using this as the base. All right, so I pick it up on a brush, and then I just start patting it on to the lid to get that color on. And then I'm gonna work it up to the crease. I mean, you got rid of your brow, so you've got space, honey. And then now going in with a fluffy brush, and blending out the edges. This doesn't have to be perfect because we're going over top with shadows anyways but you definitely wanna make sure that that edge, that harsh edge is gone. All right, then now going into this incredible palette by Stacey Marie and Be Perfect. This is the Carnival Extra Large Pro, and I'm taking the dark, like sexy color called Reckless. And I'm picking that up on a brush and placing it on the outer part of my eye. And you wanna stamp this color on top of the base. It's gonna act like a, a magnet. It's really gonna grab onto all that pigment and make it magical. And then you just wanna create this smoky outer corner. Then going back into that same palette and taking this absolutely brightest red I've ever seen in my entire life. It's called Inferno and it is red. And I'm gonna start buffing this in above that dark color we just placed. And this is gonna be our transition color. And think big here, guys. This is Halloween. This is the time to go all out and again, you got rid of your brows, so take up that space. And I'm also starting to place that red here on the inner corner. And again, you really wanna buff and blend this in. And remember, we worked so delicately on blocking those brows that once you like sort of get into the brow area with blending, just use very light pressure to not sort of like mess up the glue. All right, it's time for one of my favorite parts, totally blowing this up and taking it up. So I'm hopping over to the Mama Mitchell and Beauty Bay palette. And from this palette, I'm taking these two shades right here called Mr. H and Milkshake. And I'm mixing those two together on like seriously such a big, big brush. And I'm just gonna go ham on my eyes. And promise me, if you're recreating this look, just have fun with this one, okay? It doesn't really matter how far you take this one up, how like extreme you wanna make it. It's totally up to you. You are the boss of your own face, your makeup. But since it's Halloween, I'm taking this bad boy up. 
Okay, and then now it's finally time to dip into the Acid Rain Colors by P. Louise. Like I said, a paint that dries by itself. So all you need to do is apply this, let it be. I'm going in with the colors Blank Canvas and a little bit of Raver. This Raver is a little bit too intense for this look right here. Normally I'd be like, okay, yes, come through. But for today, I want it to be like a soft pink. So the magic is mixing the two to create your own color. So you should kind of come up with a color like this. And then I'm gonna dip from there using my brush. And I'm just gonna carve out a new crease and then fill it in. So make sure you get it on nice and even. And now you can leave it like this and it would be absolutely brilliant. But because I wanna incorporate a bit more of that red tone onto the lid, I'm dipping back into that Inferno shade. And just on that outer corner here, where you already created that blend, I'm gonna bring in a little bit of that red. Now this to me is some makeup porn. All right, so since I'm addicted to the glamour and this is a bridal look, I of course need something shimmery and glittery somewhere. So I'm going in with this. This is the Huda Beauty Matte and Metal Melted Shadows and this is in the color Cherry Soda. And I'm using this metallic side as a base for my liner. And then on top, the Mitchell, it's a lot of Mitchell and P. Louise today, the Mitchell um, eyeliner topper in collaboration with Beauty Bay, and this one is in the color Mama. And then I'm popping the Mitchell liner on top as well, sort of framing the very edge of the cut crease. Time to wrap it up for the eye look. So I'm going back in with that Rude Boy Red base and using it as the base on the lower lash line and then going in with the same two colors to buff and blend that in. And lastly, a pink inner corner highlight. Ooh. Time to pop on some lashes and then it's time for the crazy scary mouth. Okay, eyes are done and I know right now it's like a super glam no brow look. Like this could be Jeffree Star's everyday red makeup look. <laughs> but I swear once like the mouth is on and we have the creepy contacts in, it all pulls together. So now let's focus on something that I'm really scared to do because it's been a year and I've been a little bit rusty. It's time to do a special effects sort of like torn demon mouth. And what I usually always do is go in with a light eyebrow pencil to sketch out the shapes and then we're gonna go in with all the paints and then we're gonna shade and highlight and make it work and twerk. Seriously, no idea what this is gonna turn into, but we have a shape. Uh, I mean, I don't know, I'm trying. Okay, time to go into a water activated red face paint and I'm, I'm wetting it right now. And I think a good first step would be to fill in everything with red except for the teeth. So that's a like an easy step to get yourself going. All right, I'm just here to remind you and mainly myself today that you should take it just one step at a time, work in layers, and then fine tune in the end. So I think a logical next step is to fill in the teeth using like an off white color. So you don't want it to be pure white. You kind of want it to be dirty, like a demon. Oh my God, this is so hard. This is so, so incredibly hard to do but we have faith in the makeup gods that they pull through. Once the teeth are filled in, it's time to add in your shadows. And this is the part where things start looking a little bit better, hopefully. So places you wanna add shadows is like right up to the edge of the torn mouth, like in between the teeth. Like right now it looks like a cartoon and it shouldn't. All right, shadow is added to the corner of the mouth. I think now would be a good time to focus on the teeth and then we'll do 
fine detailing. Mm -hmm. So using an ochre colored eyeshadow, I'm just gonna add shadow to the teeth. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Now it is time to add highlights in the color of soft pink to sort of like where the muscles would be in the mouth. All right, time for some depth. I'm adding black in between the teeth and creating that shadow. And now let's make some magic happen by adding the highlights. All right, glow babies, I promise the end is in sight. All we're gonna do now is create a shadow surrounding the mouth and then highlighting in between. So just a little bit under the mouth. You want to create a line of shadow and then that is going to make it a little bit more believable. Not that I think this is anywhere near believable, but still. And some highlights in between. All right, now I'm gonna line the lips. Finally, we have moved on to my normal lips. I'm gonna line my lips using the House Laboratories Rip Lip Liner in the color Slayer and filling in the rest of my lip using this Fenty Beauty Mademoiselle Lipstick in Griselda. As the final finishing touch, I am taking the Mehron Blood Splatter and I'm gonna spray some around the mouth. Oh my God. <laughs> and that guys completes this demon bride to be, demon bride, bride from the demon world, Halloween makeup tutorial. I think this is one hell of a scary look for Halloween to frighten some friends around you. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this crazy Halloween makeup tutorial. If you end up recreating it, don't forget to tag me on Instagram or Twitter or somewhere where I can find you. And without any further ado, I hope I will see you tomorrow for a new day of Halloween. Halloween.